Alright, so this question we will see about the classical addressing and in this, especially about subnetting. Right? Subnetting. So what is subnetting? Suppose this is the network at class A. So there are any possible networks you know about that to rest power. Right, network ID is the possible and the host we are going to do is for 24, which are so many, right? So we basically divide this right into many parts. So this is called subnetting, right? So the question is if subnet mask of class B is 255.255.240.0, the good number of subnets and number of hosts in each subnet. So there are two ways to solve our there are many ways you can solve this question, but the easiest way is so you can look at that. You just convert this into this. Right. All right, so basically, you know that this is class B address, right? So, then class B, then this whole part is going to be network ID part, and uh, here the once part is going to be subnet part, subnet bits, right? and the remaining zeros are the host bits. Right, so I would have to remember that. So the question is calculate number of subnets. So number of subnets will be is equal to 2 raised to power number of is 4 minus 2 which is going to be 16 minus 2 and 14. Right, so a number of hosts we're going to do 2 raised to the power 8 and 4, 12 minus 2, which will be. I don't know, you can calculate this. Okay, let's see the value 4094, right? This is how you can solve such kind of questions. And the easy way is you know, you don't have to write this part, and so just you just you know that by logic that this whole part is going to be this network ID part, right? And only this part here, the ones will be the subnet bits and zero will be the host bits, right? So, this way you can solve this kind of questions. If subnet mass of class C is 255.254, there will be number of subnets and number of hosts in each subnet, right? To solve such questions, oh. So the class C, you know that this whole part will be drop part and you have to deal with only this report part. And how to convert this part into binary, you know, what you do is you start doing by two, 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 two and you do lots of things there. But avoid this, you just use 16 division. And this is going to be 16 minus 16 and 16 only 16. This is going to remainder of 664. 16 for the 64. Right? So you will get a 14. And the remainder is 0. So you can write this into this way 14 and 0. This is actually kind of E and 0 in hexadecimal, right? So we are converting through hexadecimal to binary. I we know that the shortcut to convert this. So just I uh, will be occupy four bits. So eight, twelve, and fourteen. Let's keep this zero, and this will be right. And these bits are subnet bits, and these bits are host bits, right? So, the number of subnets, number of subnets will be 
2 raised to the power 3 minus 2 which will then give you 8 minus 2 which will be 6 right number of posts will be Oh, I'm sorry, this one is this is really extra. So 4 and 5 to the power 5 minus 2. And you can perform the calculation over there. And this will actually be 32 and 32 minus 30. Right? If some mask of class A is 255, 255, so 920, calculate number of subnets and number of posts in each subnet. So you know that this part will going to be network ID part and so your game is start from here. Right. So just take this here and um, you know by looking this you can solve this question but uh, let me show you how to solve this. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 dot. So this is going to be the 128 position right and this is going to be 64 position so 128 plus 64 you know that 192 and that's how you guys you have to stop here dot zero 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 right so this part this part we're going to be subnet bits and this part is going to be post bits so the number of subnets available here is 2 raised to the power 8 to 10 like 2 raised to the power 8 to 10 minus 10. number of posts in each subnets subnets will be going to be so it's how 8 in Six, so it's going to be fourteen minus two, and the result of these values. I will calculate this will be answer right. You can use your calci. So the fifth question is IP is two zero three two one one two one 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 and one one seven. And server mask is 255, 255, 24. So find submit ID, number of subnets, and submit number to which this IP belongs to. And also calculate the data broadcast as well as the four subnets and last subnets. So this is a long question, and this question contains you know so many parts. So in any exams, you might be asked only one part. But let me tell you how to solve this long question. So IP is 203, right? And submit mask is 255. So find the submit ID. And you know how to find submit ID. This is the first question. How to find submit ID? To find the submit ID, just take the ID. Just take the IP address and the submit mask and perform the bitwise ending right so you will go to submit id and bitwise ending yeah here you have to perform the bitwise ending right so let's do that so when you take this number 203 112 111 117 dot 224. If you perform the ending here, so you can get 203, 112, 1111. You know, we all know that 255, 255, 255 is always going to give us the, the, the only the same number. As I've told you in previous video, that if you perform 255, and so the bitwise ending will going to give you the x, and if you perform with zeros. With x, so it's still going to give you zero, right? So you always have to remember that. But here is one one seven and two twenty four. So here we're going to be something different. 
so uh, so follow the rules 17 so 16 to 32 40 64 64 16 uh, 80 16 6 uh, 16 7 uh, 1 1 2 so 1 1 2 16 7 uh, 1 1 2 sorry 16 7 uh, 1 1 2 so it will going to give you 5 here so 7 5 so just write 7 5 here and give you value here so 8 this will just give you 0 one 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 and the five is going to be like uh, so we will really up eight one this is four and one right and study four is going to be you can find it 24 value here 16 so 16 one is 16 and it's one 64 right so this is going to give you 14, 4, right? So 14 and it has going to be 0. Sorry. So let's keep this here. This one, this one. So 1, 1, it's the edge of 4, 12, and 14, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. Just cut the form in here. You will going to get zero one one zero. There zero 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 zero. Right. So you will get this. So this is going to be submit ID. Submit ID, and you know that the submit bits are. So you know that there are uh, subnet bits are three. These will be subnet bits. I'm sorry, subnet bits, right? So the number of subnets will going to be two raised to the power three minus two, which will going to give you the eight. I'm sorry, this is going to be six, right? Unless it is this first, which is going to be six, right? And now it's in a number of subnets and subnet to which this IP belongs, num number of subnets. So, as you can see here, uh, the possible subnets are six, and the thing that we are getting here is you know, one and two, which is going to be third. So, this, is going to, this, I, this address will actually going belong to the third subnet, right? Third subnet. So, how we calculate this? Valuing here, right? Submit ID. We calculate that this um, this IP is going to from third submit. And now saying that number of submits that you know, and also calculate the direct broadcast of the address of fourth submit, right? So how you know that this is fourth submit? So you just convert this bit, these bits. Only you have to deal with these bits. One zero zero. So this is fourth submit, right? And you have to find the direct broadcast address. So you have to keep all host address as one, right? So, and when you add up this value or you're going to convert this value, this will going to be 159, right? Yes, this is going to be 159 here. Number of subnets here. So how to write this? So DBA or fourth subnet is equal to I'm sorry two zero three one one two zero three one one two one 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 five five nine right so this is the direct broadcast address of fourth submit right this question is the last submit and then brought direct broadcast of address of last submit which means the sixth submit right so sixth submit will be going to be you know that so let's take this here and 
and this is going to be last subnet or your sixth subnet, right? But if you put this here, then this this will going to be become something else, right? So be careful. That's why we are always subtract minus two because the first is um, the network address and the second is the last is the broadcast address, right? So the six and So this is four here, this is four part here, right? So, so if you, if you convert this, this will going to become one ninety two. I'm sorry, I have to make this completely one, right? Because we have to find the so if you convert all these one, then the value is going to be. Plus, uh, we can add this here 128. This complete here. So, it is, if you add this 128 plus 64 plus uh, this is 128 position, then you will see the 64 position, this is 32 position, this is 16 position, this is the 8th position, this is the 4th position, this is the 2th position, this is 1th position, right? So when you add all these 16, 4 plus 2 plus 1, right? So when you add all these, 9, Nice, right? So the address is going to be DBA of last subnet. Last subnet is going to be two zero three one one two one 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 dot. I'm sorry. To 59. That's how you can solve such kind of questions. Thanks for watching.